Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. How are you doing today? Guys, I got my San Pellegrino. I did make me some breakfast. I'll shoot a picture of it in some way, somehow, so you guys see what I'm eating in the morning. Was off last night, so I slept pretty good for the most part. Today's my dad's birthday. I'm supposed to go live at 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time, but I got trigger shots coming at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, so hopefully I'll be able to keep the little celebration about my dad and his birthday at 7 p.m. I will try. I will be here even if it's to say I'm sorry, but let's uh, let's just try to have a good day before I get shot in the neck a few times and before uh, 7 o'clock and uh, hope that I slept well enough because I ain't sleeping again until tomorrow morning about this time, guys, guys. So this phone call, it pulled... It, it, it triggered me a little bit so I know what it's like to be trying to get your point across and having somebody step on every word you say and I think all of us you know have been a recipient of that and have been the perpetrator of that so I think that a lot of us will relate to this dysfunction of a relationship that Wade Wilson has with his biological dad and I, I read in the comments, some of the comments, that nobody felt really bad for the biological dad. You might change your tune because, see, what he's trying to do is he's trying to protect his son, but he's also trying to do the right thing as well. And it's because of Wade Wilson's biological dad that they were able to find the second person that weighed on alive her body because he had taken it and he had dumped it somewhere and he didn't, he wasn't giving up where it was. So the family of the, of that victim, you know, they're victims too, the family, but they needed that for their closure. They wanted to give their mom, because that, that, she had two daughters, that, that woman that was just, he asked directions and yanked her in. And so Wade Wilson's a monster, yet he still feels uh, it comes across as very entitled and very, again, I've used the word soulless when it comes to him, but you could really see, you know, just how he is just not getting it and doesn't want to get it, doesn't care to get it. And uh, this conversation, you know, we're going to break it down a little bit. You ready to rock and roll? Let's go. Let's go, Wade. Let's go, Wade. What's up, man? Hey, it's only 51 cents on here, Yeah. so it's only going to, we're only going to talk for a second, so why don't you have to call me back so I can put more money on there. I don't know how to do it unless, they, unless you call me. All right, so you want me to talk to you? Yeah, because I need to talk to you. Oh, you do? I do. I need, I've got to do badly. Okay. Yeah, very All right. badly. All right, I'll call you back. So... How long does 51 cents last? You said what? You said what? How long does 51 cents So let's understand something. When somebody on the outside is saying to you, yo man, I really need to talk to you and it's important that you call me back and keep calling until you reach me because I got something to say. Every fiber of your being, every alarm in your little system that is Wade Wilson or anybody else for this matter is saying, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's like creepy crawlies coming into your body, just poking at you. You got something up, you got something up, and all of your alerts are up. So though I think Wade Wilson has an idea of what his dad wants to tell him, his dad wants to make it pretty friggin' clear, I need to talk to you, son. You want me there when you want money on the books? I need to talk to you now, son. All right, I'll call you on that. All right. Up on us, yeah. Yeah, even if I, even if it doesn't accept it, sometimes that shit acts weird, so. So I got to call Jim. Just make sure you call me right back. All right. Huh? Yeah, if it doesn't work, I'll call. Call me until I, yeah, call me until we talk. All right. So, you doing all right? Yeah, let it run out of, let it run out of time real quick. Yeah. Are you doing okay? No, I'm not doing okay. I'm not. Actually. Why? What's wrong? Well, I'll tell you about it when I call you back because there's only like 20 seconds. His I dad seems to care. I can't tell you. Yeah. I'm not doing good in that amount of he's time. He's still asking how he's doing. I'll let you know. Still right. showing concern. Yeah. 
Where's right. Wade? Well, call me right back, because it's going to hang up any second, so. All right, then. I'll call you back. Thank you for using He doesn't ETF. sound happy about that. Remember, guys, this is a phone call from that? prison. What's wrong with you? Huh? I said, what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing, man. I'm in jail. That's all. I know. I said, is everything okay? And you said no. Yeah, I'm in jail, bro. He That's forgot why about that. Not okay. Wade oh, forgot well, about that. Uh, you already, you know, you already know that. Um. So I want to tell you about a few things on how I feel about a few things. Okay. Okay. All right. First of all, uh, that GoFundMe account. That yeah. shit was pretty a pretty stupid move. Okay. And I understand. You know, you're trying to get money and all that. I get that part of it. But that, because of that, that is what sparked all the other bullshit that now is all over the goddamn news. So, you know, listen, I don't know why you felt the need to sit down and have conversations with these media people and go into detail like you did because I'm telling you how it was received. It was received from everybody who has heard it and, and people are posting all over shit and they're commenting and the news. You you sounded horrible. You, you sounded like a straight liar. You were stumbling over your words. You were repeating things, you know, trying to you know, come up with what you were saying. Fucking lunatic. And it really came off bad, Wade. Guys, so I want you to understand that. GoFundMe that he's talking about was supposed to be about getting him legal help because he says he's innocent now. He went ahead and he told people that he had already done this. He already admitted to this on the phone, the crime on the phone. To his dad, he admitted it on the phone to his ex-girlfriend Mila, who was acting as his girlfriend at the time. I put up a video about that, and I thought that, you know, Mila was still into him. But no, Mila was about getting his ass incarcerated for life or the ultimate, which would be unaliving and in prison. So now the guy has in the meantime, he's gotten a lot of phone calls. He's gotten about 4,000 correspondents, people trying to reach out to him. He's got money coming in now, and uh, he feels pretty good about himself because the people that are writing to him are basing stuff on what the guy looks like, meaning there are some women that are into him. Some men too, I'm sure. He, I, I don't think he's going to tell men not to give him money. So... He's trying to play this in the media. He knows what he's done. He's not an idiot. He knows what he's done. He just thinks that, oh, I can't get any worse because he's an idiot. And his dad's trying to say, yo, man, you don't know how bad it could be because you're not giving it a chance. You're not, like, you're not trying to take care of you. You're just worried about taking care of what you need right now for right now, but the bigger picture is coming later, Wade, and that's what you need to pay attention to. But smartass over here thinks he knows it all. And it really came off bad, Wade. Really, really, really bad. You, you know, you got to look at it from another perspective sometimes. And, you know, now they're, they're blasting these phone interviews all over the place where you talk about, you know, having sex with Kristen. You, you didn't even say your name right. You kept saying Kristen, and her name's Christine. So that was Kristen's the chick you're talking to now. So that really looked bad. What else looked bad is you're, it's like the media doesn't give a fuck about you, Wade. They're not the judge and they're not the jury. So you trying to convince them thinking, oh, they're going to put my story out there and people are going to feel bad for me or see it my way. It did the exact opposite. 100% the exact opposite. 
So now what Mila's going to do, and, and I'm just guessing this, I don't know for sure, but what Mila's going to do is now she's going to come back and do her own story to combat the fact that Mila's spa isn't your and hers business. Her car isn't you and hers car. You know, you, you just... Her car is not even Her car is not that. even her car. I don't give a fuck. Her car is not even her car. Okay, her car is her car is her car is under some sugar that. daddy's name. I could give a fuck. Okay, okay, but you know you're all over there saying you know me and Mila we have a Hellcat. We have a 2016 Hellcat. No, you don't. You know what, Dad? I don't give a fuck, man. Okay. I didn't tell the media shit. He took all he wanted to hear. He thinks that nothing his dad is gonna say is gonna benefit him. He's listened as much as he wants to listen. And now he's over the situation and he's saying, yo, man, I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Because now his pride's hurt a little bit. Because what his dad is saying, you don't have jack shit, son. You ain't got nothing. Everything you did have was somebody else's and you just kind of took it and called it your own. And now people know that about you and you ain't shit. And this is the problem that this egotistical, soulless MF has to say he's missing the whole picture here of what his dad's trying to tell him and instead of just taking it on board no 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 i know better than everybody i know better than man let me tell you something wade wilson tattoo face motherfucker i wish i was pushing that switch because i don't have a problem pushing that switch i don't have a problem with that you know this guy's guilty as hell his dad's trying to give him advice. He's still living the life he wants to live. He's just living it inside jail. He's got women pawing over him. He's got money on the books. He's got whatever he needs except his freedom. But I got news for you. He's got this imagination he could go anywhere in the world in his head. There is no punishment for him. And him doing time and breathing oxygen is a waste of everybody's money, energy, and time. I'm sorry. I believe in God. But... This is no son of God. It's going to bite you in your ass because now what's going to happen is when these attorneys, when, when they charge you and these attorneys come to you, I mark my words, they're going to say to you, listen, the worst thing you ever did was do those news interviews because now you're locked into a story that we can't change. So when all the, see, you're, you're saying all this to the media, you left out the visit between you and me when on a recorded visitation, you said what you said, phone calls between you and me where you said what you said, when you talked to Mila and you told her. Okay, but who told them, who told them, to who told them anything about phone calls between me and you? Who told them that? His dad's saying your story isn't adding up, and now they have you on the calls saying this way one way, this way the other way, and those two ways aren't meshing. So you're a liar, Wade, so all your credibility is gone to shit. Everything you said, my little son of mine, son little spawn child of mine, is that you don't give a fuck. You just don't care. The only person you care about is you, and that's all that matters to you. You got the name, the wrong name, of the girl that you want alive. How disrespectful is that? Of course that looked bad, you dumb fuck. Of course that looked bad. What's wrong with you? And this guy thinks, this now mind you, this is before he gets the ultimate sentence that the jury, the jury has handed him the ultimate sentence. The judge has to agree on it. I can't imagine this judge saying, nope, the jury's wrong. You should live a long time. By rights, come on, man, seriously. He shouldn't be allowed on the phone to make phone calls to anybody other than his lawyers. He shouldn't be allowed to have money on the books. You know, my problem with the jail system is there's too many rights for the people that don't deserve the rights, and there's not enough rights for the people that are victims. That's my problem with the jail system here. And you got this moron. You got a dad who's still trying to hang on and be there for this kid. This kid ain't getting it. He ain't getting it. In the meantime, he's being exposed left, right, and center, and his dad's trying to say, yo, you're being exposed left, right, and center, but this stupid idiot kid, he knows it all. 
He knows it all. Don't waste your time, Bio Dad. Don't waste your time, Bio Dad, because he's got some sort of competition with you. And let me tell you something. The fact that this kid was adopted has nothing to do with why he's so sick. The fact that his dad had his own issues isn't has nothing to do with why this is so sick. This is pure evil, and this is sick because he wants to be sick. He gets off on being sick. That's who this guy is. And there's people giving him money. Dumb girls. I just don't understand desperate women, desperate people in general. So, Mr. Know-it-all here, Mr. Snotrag, um, you know, he's trying to say that his dad was in on giving some of this information instead of realizing all my phone calls are being recorded and I'm a fucking idiot. You know, instead of realizing that, he's, gonna, he's now going to blame his dad for talking to him. You know, his dad that's been there that gave him money and has helped him in many ways. You know, if I was his dad, I'd kick his ass to the curb. End of story. Bad mistake. Bad mistake. This guy was a mistake. He knows he's a mistake. He likes being a mistake. He doesn't want to get along in this world. He would rather have the infamy and the popularity of people thinking that we're going to remember this guy forever because of the two crimes he committed. Here's what's going to happen. The only people that are going to remember those two crimes are the people that were affected by the crimes and the family. I'm looking right in your dead black eyes in this picture. Okay? And let's all remember this. The man's afraid of men. Okay? Remember his dad said, yeah, he's a bully to women, but he wouldn't try that shit with men. Guys, he's going to a male prison. Have a blast with him. Have a blast with him. Because he didn't learn anything. He's not going to learn anything. And uh, he has no desire to learn anything. He has no sympathy. He has nothing. No remorse. No regret. Nothing. He doesn't care shit about what he did. He just wants to go down in history for what he did. But let me tell you something. There are so many people. That had more heinous acts than you, my friend. And, you know, it, it's just you're going to be lost in the shuffle. Wade Wilson is only going to be known by Ryan Reynolds from Deadpool, bitch. There you go. Who told them anything about phone calls between me and you? Who told them that? Who told them that? Who told them that? Nobody has told them. The detectives have it, son. Okay, so no one, no one, no one, no one told them that? Stop it, Dad. Stop it, man. Give it up, man. Listen, when you talked to Mila, the, the media was next to her. She had it on speaker. And yeah, Ben, I know that. I already know that. I know that. But I'm talking about with me and you talking on the phone. He knows who, that. who said that? And who, who's the one that, you know what I'm saying? He knows it because his dad told right, him okay. what Mila did. You're not hearing me. Nobody said that. I'm telling you that the detectives, you think they didn't watch that? Do you think they didn't hear all that? They came to talk to you later that night after we visited, and you called me the next day, and I said, hey, did they come see you? Yeah, they came to see me. What happened? I told them the truth, Dad. They have all that. You think that's not going to come up in court? So and talking to the media, so talking, media. so talking to the media doesn't fucking matter then. It changes everything. It shows that you don't give a fuck. It shows that now you're changing your story. It you know what? I give a fuck about honest. people that give a fuck about me. That's what I give a fuck about. You should. That's you what should. I give a fuck so about. That and that's and I'll tell you what. That's the only that thing. Happen? That's the only thing that I give a fuck about. Period. I understand. But what does that Good. have to do with what we're talking about? Nothing. I'm just letting you know. What does that People that have my best interest in it? mind, I give a fuck about. Everybody else, I could give a fuck less. And who is that? And who is that? Don't worry that about who that is. Kristen... Don't worry about who that what? is. Don't worry about who that is. Okay. Wade, good luck to you, son. Good luck just to you, Dad. Remember this call. Just remember, remember when you shit on me, Dad. Every time. Every time you shit on me. Remember That's that. Right. Listen. Yeah, every time you shit on me, Dad. Okay, buddy. Okay, Wade. All right. Oh, so you didn't yeah. shit on me, Dad? You didn't shit on me? I, I haven't shit on you. Did you How or did, did you I not? I shit on you. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't ask me that question like you don't know. Don't ask me that question like you don't know. Do you not? Do you want me to not have anybody? You want me to? You want me to not have anybody in my life? Is that what? Is that what makes you happy? Is that what makes? No, but that's what you do. So listen up, guys. You see how he spun this? See how his dad's saying, listen, man, when you say something and it's not the same story that you told me the night before, that you told Mila on the phone the night before, like the cops got all this, now they got you saying something different, man. Instead of taking responsibility and realizing, oh, I'm an idiot, like Wade Wilson is, he blames his dad. Dad, you did this to me. Dad, you did this to me. Dad, he takes no responsibility. This guy unalive two people in the most horrendous ways one way was atrocious, I don't even want to talk about it. Uncalled for, no reason, this was not self-defense, this wasn't anything, this came out of the blue, this hatred, this ah, anger, whatever it was that made him unalive these women, and then he got off on it. And this is the goal, and this is what's going on in prison, and let's be fair, he went to the media and wanted money for his story. And I will tell you anything, he says. I will give you the answers you want to know. I will give you the answers you want to know. Because he already knows, man, I'm going in. I might, I might end up never coming out. But if I'm going in, I'm going in my way. They should not be able to go in their way. You understand? Judicial system. They should not be able to go in their way. We got to stop their way. Stop those fucking tablets. Pay your deputies a little bit more. Hire more deputies. I don't care what you do. You're supposed to police them and protect them from themselves and each other. I got all that shit. I know I've been there, done that. But these tablets and, and, and getting more money and all this is bullshit. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Fucking idiot. Waste of oxygen. Somebody ain't getting oxygen because this guy's breathing. You're not a stupid motherfucker, You're bro. Right. They don't try me. They don't try me like I do. You no, you try me. Questions. You try me, bro. You try me, Dad. Always. How did I try you? You know what? It's so dumb. You always try me. You don't want me to have anybody in my life. You're That's crazy. You want to just kick every. You want to kick everyone out of my life, bro. Save that shit. Don't get on fucking TV talking about I'm a God fearing man and I've got two little kids. You haven't asked me one time about your fucking kids. Not one time. Now you're on fucking the media talking about your god fearing and I've got two kids? You're a dumbass. Because your stupid ass did what you did. Your stupid ass admitted it. And now your stupid ass is on TV claiming that you're innocent. You dumb bitch. Oh, well. Now your stupid ass is put it out on TV. Hey, look how, look, look how, look how when I call you out, look how when I call you out, how you snap, you see what I'm saying? When I call you out, when I call you out, you show your cards, you show your cards, Dad. You show your cards, Dad. You show your cards. And now, now, you're fucking claiming you need 8000 for illegal. You know how much money it would cost to defend your ass on murder charges? What do you well, think the state attorney thinks? I guess it's a good thing I haven't. I guess it's a good thing I haven't been. I guess it's a good thing I haven't been charged with murder, then, huh? I guess it's a good thing I haven't been charged. No, you will be. Unfortunately, you will be. And now, Wade, you're gonna wear it because your dumbass can't keep your mouth shut. Oh well, you can't keep your mouth shut. You tell every. You tell everybody everything. You tell, listen, man. You told, you tell everybody everything. You can't keep your mouth shut. No, that's the truth, though. You know how, you know how sad that is. That's the truth. My number, bitch. That's the truth. Nobody the number because I tell the truth. You got this dumbass bitch who on the phone with me. You call, you claim she ain't really a fat girl, dad. But you know she's borderline a fat girl. Who cares? Who cares? You know the game. Why would you ruin? Why would you ruin my game? Why do you care to? Why do you care to ruin my game? Why do you want to ruin my game? That's what I'm asking you. Answer my question. Why do you want to ruin my game? Answer. Answer my question. Why do you want to ruin? My so there is a phone call that he has with his son. It's on another one of phone calls from prison, and um, he's he talks to this girl, and he's telling his dad. 
that the girl came to visit him, like the girl came to visit him and stuff. And it was really sad because she's got kids of her own, right? And she's going to visit this fuck. Excuse me. So maybe I'll put up that phone call too because this is like ridiculous, right? So, so Wade Wilson tells his dad, you know, she's a little chunky. She's on like the borderline. She's a little, you know, and that's what his dad's talking about. He's talking about how his son is using this woman for money, right? The disrespect it shows towards women, it is not a good look. And everybody knows about this. So everybody is forming opinions because this stuff is getting leaked out of the jail. Obviously these phone calls could get paid. For look, we're getting them. Phone calls from prison, they pay for these. Anybody can pay for these phone calls and get them. So what they're saying is the cops definitely got him. So he shouldn't really care what social media thinks per se. Or, But the cops are getting this shit. And they see a pattern of how this guy just uses people and how he continually tells the untruth. So if you were to get him up on the stand or you were to believe anything that he said you can't because he has a pattern of telling untruths and his dad's trying to point this stuff out and instead of owning it he's blaming his dad it's like don't blame the mirror fucker blame the reflect the reflection the reflection be you wade yeah. answer, answer my question why do you want to ruin my game why do you want to ruin my game you don't have game well dad you know what sad to say Sad to say, I came from you, you so who gives a fuck? You're lame as fuck, Dad. With your story. You're lame you as fuck, Dad. You're lame with your lies. Oh, well, who cares, Dad? You deal with it. I care, and you know what? But I'm an undocumented. Thank you for using GTF. So, Thank you for watching. He hung up on me. So, guys, the game that Wade Wilson was telling his dad he had, the game, not to ruin his game, was that he was getting money from people that, you know, while he was getting incarcerated and he was telling women certain things and, and then telling his dad other things like he was telling this woman how cute she was and everything because you know he wanted money in the meantime this woman just got out of prison herself or jail at least and her boyfriend broke up with her so that she could get her life together and she goes after wade wilson here's the thing here's a woman with kids like what the fuck is wrong with you why are you stupid i want to know why are you so desperate woman that reached out to Wade Wilson. She gave him five bucks. She needed that five bucks. How pathetic is that? And that is the game that he's trying to get. He's trying to just get women to give him money. He's got plenty of time on his hands. He can call somebody. Doesn't have to call anybody. Up. Oh, didn't have the phones. Up. Oh, locked down. Couldn't get the phone. He could be playing this all. And people will continue to send him money. So his dad was just calling him out on it and saying, yo, man, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. Like... Basically, what he was saying was, hey, don't worry about the immediate future right now. You got a longer game ahead of you. You got to pay attention to that. But nope, Mr. Wade Wilson, he knows it all. And he ends up hanging up while his dad's saying, well, I do care about you, son. I'm not going to care about you anymore. But he was telling him, I care about you. Now, in a world of Wade Wilson and the shit that he did, that should be like gold to him. That's why he is so broken. He is just a broken guy. Because you would think that the average person would say, oh my God, I'm in here. Everybody looks at me like I'm shit. I mean, that's that's the truth, right? Everybody's looking at him like he's some sort of something on the bottom of his shoe. And then he's got his dad who's saying, I do care about you, son. But he's being real with him. He's speaking in the language in which they speak in. And Wade Wilson, he just doesn't own it. He will never own it. But I want to say this again. Anybody who's watching this from the cells... The man, uh, he's six foot three. I heard he's got a pee pee this big. Um, and he's a wimp when it comes to men. So, boys, have fun. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Do you want me to continue some, some more of these Wade Wilson calls? Uh, it seems like you guys liked this format. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments. It's dark. I'm just trying to make it a little lighter, but it's a horrible situation. And I want him to, like, go bye bye forever. Because I don't think we need people like Wade Wilson. You know, somebody that's only sorry that uh, he looks uh, as foolish as he does. Yeah, I'm not talking about the tattoos, guys. Uh, that's pretty fucking foolish, though, but he doesn't own that either. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next one. All right, be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Always, always be kind. Never be a Wade Wilson.